Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this week's edition of Time to Burn with Celebrity Chef Adam Welby. I am Celebrity Chef Adam Welby. What do you guys mean our uh, wardrobe isn't appropriate today? I'm a kitty, dude. Look at the foot. As I was saying, welcome to this week's edition of Time to Burn with Celebrity Chef Adam Welby. I'm Celebrity Chef Adam Welby. This week we're going to be making a traditional Italian dish from the Marquis region. It's a great finger food, great appetizer. And we're going to be doing our own little spin on it. What we're going to be making are stuffed olive meatballs. Or meatballs stuffed with olives, one way or another. It's going to be awesome. Let's get started. On this side of the aisle, we have eggs, we have onions, celery, olives of course, breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, and flour. And on this side of the aisle, we have an entire ground up farm. We've got ground beef, ground veal, ground pork, and ground chicken. Now for our recipe today, we're using diced up olives. But the original olive that they would use in Marquis, Italy was cut like this in a spiral shape and then wrapped around the meat. Interesting but a lot of hard work, and I don't have enough time to do that. In no particular order, going with the beef, the veal, the pork. Wow. And the chicken. Uh, uh. Let's get dirty. And we keep mincing this farm together. I am going to start adding the extra ingredients. So I'm gonna make a hole in the middle, just like my guacamole. And we're gonna start dumping, starting with the celery. Mm, there you go. Onions. Mm -hmm. That's going to be great. Next, I'm going to throw in the breadcrumbs. And lastly, I'm going to throw on the olives. and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Now I'm gonna mix it all together again. Oh boy, that's a lot of stuff. And next we're gonna be adding eggs. Looks like we're gonna need about six for this one. Mix it together again. As you can see, this isn't exactly the most cleanly of ways of cooking, but I've got time to burn. Now we have our meatball rolling station, which consists of flour, breadcrumb parmesan mix, nice little egg mix with some salt and pepper, and this is where we're going to put our final products. What you're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of meat here and you're going to roll it to about the size of a, that's a little too big, roll it to about the size of a golf ball. Yeah. First, dip it in the flour. Get the flour all over the counter, as you can see. Dip it in the breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese. Dip it in the egg. Now here's the tricky part. Dip it back in the breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese. And this one is ready to sit for a second. After a ton of effort and some possible outside help, we finally have these things looking gorgeous and round, and they are ready to be fried. 
The oil has been going on high heat for a couple of minutes here. I dropped some drops of water in there to make sure it was ready to fry. That was a trick my grandpa taught me. And it spat away, so I think we are ready. Now, as always, be stupid careful when cooking with oil because it is hot, hot, hot. So set all your meatballs in very carefully, one at a time. Don't just drop them from up high. You have to put them right in there. Of course, don't try and get your fingers into it. I'm gonna fit as many of these in there as I can. Keep in mind, with these meatballs, you only need to keep them in there until they're about golden brown. Since we're working with pretty high heat here, it's not gonna take that long. So keep an eye on them. And if they don't completely go under, don't be afraid to turn them a little bit once you think they're starting to get good. Oh, they smell so good. They smell so good. All right, all right, all right, all right. They're golden brown, they're perfect. Internet, they gotta be working on a way for you guys to smell through the computer soon because these are just that incredible. I am going to take a bite out of this one. Oh, it's hot, but my gosh. Mmm, mmm, so good. Shut up and go make these right now. This has been another edition of Time to Burn with Celebrity Chef Adam Welby. I am, as always, Celebrity Chef Adam Welby. Like, subscribe this video. That's right. And uh, let me know what you want to see cooked next time. And usually, I have a nice speech to go at the end of this. Right now, I'm going to go get back in my cat suit. I'm taking these.